Hey, I'm Brian Slitrium, but you guys know me as Trading Lit. Over the past five years, I've been releasing videos on this YouTube channel, and I wanted to officially announce that next month I'm hosting a New York City Gamma Exposure Workshop. Over the summer, I teased the idea of actually hosting an event, and about 50 or so of you actually filled out that form that were gauging interest. I didn't know at the time how many of you were actually international. This event will take place in New York City. The dates have been confirmed, November 7th, 8th, and 9th. So it's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The hours will be from 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time to 5.30 p.m. It's going to be an in-person event only, which means this event will not be recorded. There will be clips or so that might be recorded that Will be released on social media or mentioned in future YouTube videos, but for the most part, this is an in person event. Since about 2021 or so, I've had the privilege of actually getting to meet some of you traders on Zoom as I used to have a lot of one on one with you guys. If you checked my Calendly link this year, you would have noticed that I had no availability actually to meet with you traders on a one on one basis. Outside of the stock market, I am a cinematographer, a filmmaker, and a producer. That means my schedule can get pretty chaotic at times, especially when I'm in weeks of production. So I had to scale back on the meetings. But if anything, I noticed something. As a filmmaker, one of the aspects that I love is actually the community aspect of it. When you're on a film set, you're collaborating with a lot of other individuals. Everyone, for the most part, is excited to be there. And as a cinematographer, I am the head of a department and I have enjoyed actually collaborating with people. However, when you're trading, it's a very isolated event. And the aspect of actually connecting with people is something that I look forward to whenever I'm filmmaking. And I find myself actually dreading a little bit when it came to the stock market. I'm also a quantitative developer. Some of you know I'm the lead developer at Quant Trading App, which was launched in 2021. I have built all sorts of tools that were available for traders, some free, some premium. I think it was back in 2021, I realized how important options open interest was and how it affected stock prices. Something that I knew about for a couple years prior, but I realized within the trading community, there was no tool to actually get these levels on your chart. On top of that, I was a volume profile trader as I predominantly traded futures. So I simplified, or better yet, I gave Thinkorswim's volume profile and overall cosmetics change to match what I was used to on NinjaTrader. And that study is actually what I think most of you guys knew me for back in 2022 or so when I started releasing volume profile style videos. Could be wrong in the dates, it's been a while. On top of that, the open interest script was something that I had developed for Quant Trading App and I had released that for free. I think it was important to be able to see these high option strikes on your chart because it's one thing to look at an options chain and know the impact that these option strikes can have on price action, but when you can actually see the levels on your chart, that's where I think it can unlock something for traders, especially for an individual as myself that I actually have a technician type of background. I was a chartist. I did like technical analysis. I actually still do, but I trade advanced option spreads, so technical analysis is not something I have to entirely rely on. Gamma exposure is a particular area of the market that has exploded in popularity over the past few years. I think some of you may have noticed the trend over the past few years. I started releasing gamma exposure videos. I think two or three years ago or so, and it became a powerful tool or an edge to complement what I already knew as a trader. That area of the market, gamma exposure, is blown up in popularity, and I get questions so much about X, Y, and Z, and I've answered thousands of questions within the Quant Trading App Discord server. So next year, I really wanna focus in more so on educating and sharing the information in a more structured manner. As a filmmaker and loving the collaborative aspect of filmmaking is something I wanna merge, so I become excited to talk about the market in person. This is actually not my first YouTube channel. I've actually been one half of another YouTube channel within the world of men's fashion in which we acquired a million followers in a span of about four years or so. So building up a YouTube channel is not something that's new to me and I've done that before and it can become exhausting. It's a lot of effort and a lot of energy and work you have to put into it, but it doesn't solve the problem even though you can help and spread and educate people and share a lot of information and knowledge, for me, it's not currently as satisfying. I'm also a Steadicam operator, so that means I attend workshops periodically throughout New York City, and that's where I get to meet other filmmakers within the industry. I also get to ask people that have 20, 30, sometimes 40 years more experience than I have. I've only completed my first year as a Steadicam operator, and I attended a workshop in New York City last year. If you guys remember, I actually mentioned that on this channel in a video as is something I was excited to do. I thought I was starting a little too old life until I found other Steadicam operators that are well within their 50s and 60s still operating. It's a very heavy rig that we wear. I was concerned that I wouldn't have the strength to actually go through a full day of filmmaking, which can be about 12, sometimes 13, 14 hours on set. So 
Needless to say, the inspiration of a workshop actually came from attending the Steadicam workshops in which I can get my questions answered directly from someone within the industry, someone with a lot more experience than I have, as well as getting to practice. So this Gamma Exposure workshop that I'm going to be hosting in New York City will be three days. It's going to be relatively intensive. I would assume you guys have a sense of style with how I like to educate or teach and share information. If you've been watching this YouTube channel, you guys see I like to get very detailed as much as I can. My videos used to be about 40 minutes long. I tried to shorten them to 30 and now I try to get them under 20 minutes. It's very difficult to pack such heavy or dense subject matter into such a concise video without a person fully understanding the prerequisites. So if I say something like I'm going to open a broken wing butterfly because I'm looking to be short volatility as I think the market is going to go up because there's a massive gamma exposure strike about 50 points higher in the SPX on a 2 DTE. You know like a lot of that can seem like a heavy jargon for someone that has no experience. However, this workshop is not really just for beginners. It will require you to have some sort of understanding of the options market, some sort of understanding from price action. So for on day one, we will glaze over some of the elementary things because I think it's important to make sure everybody's on the same page. This is not going to be your traditional learn how to trade the stock market type of course or something like that. It's going to be very interactive. I'm building a quiz for people to take on day one as well as the final day so you can compare and see your growth, actually show the information that we might know intuitively with subject matters such as absolute gamma, positive gamma, net negative gamma, seeing the influence on how gamma exposure can affect price action. We will be reviewing case studies, things in which I've showcased on this YouTube channel before, but I'm going to want you guys to have to do this in person. It, there will be discussions. Some of you guys will actually get to share how you approach this, how you analyze this, and it's going to be more interactive. It's not going to be filled entirely with me just providing a lecture. And even though that's something I've enjoyed doing as I've loved teaching over the past, I want to say 15 years or so of my life, I've always been someone that loves sharing information, hence developing up the other YouTube channel. I was not in front of the camera all the time, I was mostly behind the camera, but sharing the information, helping guys dress better and stuff like that was something that was an interest to me at the time. I went to school for design and I went to school mostly within the realm of fashion. So I'm a fashion photographer, I love aesthetics, which is something that I think is also missing within the world of the stock market. When I first built a lot of the gamma exposure tools that are used within Quant Trading App, you guys will take notice that I paid attention to how intuitive these tools are to use. I wanted something that was aesthetically pleasing. I've spoken to traders that are colorblind, so I made sure to try to use a color palette that would be easy on the eyes as well as very intuitive and simple to understand. Anyway, I'm rambling. I already went much further than I wanted to go in this video, but I just wanted to come on camera as most of the videos are screen recordings. I don't think it's necessary for you guys to see my face every time I'm talking about something. I try to get in and out whenever I record these videos. So I just share my screen publish it, get it out there, and then move on for the next important subject matter. Seats are limited, by the way. A few of you guys have already purchased your tickets. There's only 12 available. It's going to be a smaller workshop just because it's my first one. Then ultimately next year, there will be some large ones. And just know there's going to be a lot on the horizon next year in the world of in-person events as well as workshops. And of course, I'm constantly developing new tools as I like to research the data within the stock market. Anytime I try to find some sort of an edge, I like to build the tools around it. I share it small within Quant Trading App, so it's not always released to YouTube on this public platform. A particular spread within Quant Trading App that some of you guys know once the Quant Trading App trade engine was developed was the zero DTE iron butterfly that takes place in the middle of the day. Certain tools were developed that showed how this can be executed and for certain days, we've actually been able to exploit the edge a little bit more whenever we have additional confluence. In other words, where's the max pain for the day? Does it align with the zero DTE absolute gamma strike? These are subject matters that I will touch on within the gamma exposure workshop, but for the most part, this is for anyone willing to attend. It's not exclusive for QTA members. You will have access to QTA during the time of the workshop so you guys can get familiar, but you can use any gamma exposure tool that you are familiar with. Thinkorswim is the preferred platform. TradingView is going to be the secondary platform as we will be going on demand and actually using the replay feature to review price action on certain days. And we will cover how to plan your day as well as how to plan your week using predominantly gamma exposure levels. Guys, I just want to say I'm very excited to be doing this. It has been a long time coming. I just didn't want to jump into this prematurely because 
for anyone in which I've known that has done anything similar to this, it kind of takes over your life. I actually took the stock market lab course, I think back in 2018 or so, and that's where I met Umar Ashraf. I think that's how he pronounced his name. And it was great just to be able to meet other traders within the world of swinging day traders. Link is in the description to my Trading Lit Discord as well as the Trading Lit website in which all the information you would need to know is there and where you can purchase your tickets, reserve your seats. Registration is only open for the next 22 to 23 days or so if I remember correctly and then registration will have to close. Limited seats again so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for ready to purchase your ticket. I look forward to seeing you guys, whoever can attend. Sorry for the international guys as it's too short a notice. I did not know that so many of you guys that were international would be even interested in something like this. I will keep that in mind for the next time. Obviously the first one there's just a lot more to set up but a special thank you for those in attendance I look forward to meeting you some of you guys in person. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one